Hey guys, Dan Greer, Eclipse DOT, coming at you today just to talk a little bit about taking that first step. There are so many times that I've talked to people that say, man, I want to do this. I want to do that. I just put a post up on social media not too long ago. It says, if you could do anything, and money wasn't an option. It wasn't an objective. You had, you had all the money to do whatever you wanted to do. What would you do? One person. One person. So they do what they're doing right now. Out of like a lot of comments. There were probably over 50 to 100 comments on it. Which I know for some of you may not be a lot. Some of you may be like a ton. Okay. One person said that they would do what they're currently doing. You know, I would do what I'm currently doing. So maybe two people if I was to comment on it. So, so two people out of 100 would do what they're currently doing. What's stopping you? What's stopping you from going out and doing it? Even if it's not full-time, even if it's part-time, what's stopping you from doing something you'd love to do? What's stopping you from jumping in a race car? What's stopping you from starting an art studio? What's stopping you from going out and starting to teach yoga? Right? What's stopping you from building a Christian retreat? Yourself. Your fear. The fear of failure. The fear that if you fail, you might fail yourself. The fear that... that Nobody will come. So today, what I want to encourage you to do is to take the first step. The first step isn't quitting. <laughs> the first step isn't going out and buying a race car if you want to be a race car driver. If you want to be a pilot, you're not going to buy a plane first, right? No. The first step is to start researching. Start figuring out what you can do, what it's going to take to get you there. Because guess what? Start to create a long-term plan. That long-term plan may be that in five years, you're going to be in a race car. Maybe it's that, that in five years, you're going to have your first Christian retreat where, where Christians come to you for a one-day event at somebody else's property. It's your own property. Maybe it's a year out. Maybe it's two years out. Maybe it's a month. But you got to take that first step to get there. you gotta, you got to... Take that leap of faith and trust, trust that God is going to be there to help guide you where you need to go. All right, guys. Today, get out there and take that leap of faith. We'll talk to you soon.